In this segment, we will show you how to attach the flow control assembly. Locate the flow control assembly, part K, and install the grip, part MM, onto the flow control arm. Next, take a 1 quarter by 3 quarter inch carriage bolt, part V, and assemble the adjustable stop, part PP, to the flow control bracket, part SS. Insert the carriage bolt through the adjustable stop, with the tabs facing up, and then through the bottom of the flow control bracket. Add a nylon washer, part EE, and wing nut, part II, to secure the carriage bolt. Attach the flow control bracket to the hitch tube by taking two hex bolts, part R, inserting each one through a small washer, part FF, then through the flow control bracket, then through another small washer, and finally, through the hitch tube. Secure the bolts with two lock nuts, part X. Do not tighten the bolts completely. Locate the flow control rod, part F, and find the end that does not have a hole in it. Insert this end into the elongated hole in the flow plate on the bottom of the hopper. Lock the rod into the flow plate by rotating the rod. Swing the other end of the flow control rod towards the flow control arm and insert it into the hole on the arm. Install a small washer, part FF, over the rod and secure it into place using a cotter pin, part Y. Use the pliers to bend the ends of the cotter pin around the rod.